In this week's CBDNN, uh, this really came up and yo, these guys have been coming up more and more and more. Uh, Bifasa. Yo, hi Bifasa's is barking at Sopra. Uh, Bifasa, the Black Farmers Association, uh, have issued an intent to shut down SAPRA, the South African Health Products Regulatory Authority, using a legal and direct action. The next big step for Bifasa in exposing the mess that SAPRA has caused to our pharma cannabis industry. Uh, they would also like to inform you that Bifasa will be hosting a march on the 22nd of April, mm -hmm. so it's FO22. It's the Thursday. Uh, 2021 for the complete shutdown of SAPRA. So these oaks are saying, close it All the way down. down. Uh, these guys have been on Sapra's case for a while. Uh, we're going to be talking to our guest uh, shortly and that. Uh, what do you guys think of this story, hey? You know, it is prohibitively expensive to register with Sapra and have all of the right things in place and your security and... and I mean, there's an incredibly long list of very expensive requirements in order to get mm. yourself a SAPRA license mm. that a lot of the people who would be members of the Black Farmers Association would, um, wouldn't be able to afford. Yeah, big barrier to entry. And then that does, it does leave it wide open for white monopoly capital and colonisation. We don't want the wheat to be colonised. It feels like everybody poor. should be able to grow. Not the politically connected and everybody, the rich. not just those with sub licenses. Everybody should be able to yes. grow. All the way down. Uh, to unless you want to make medicine. So, but before, I, mean, I have a point. I stand with him. But yeah. Supra, we need a medicines regulator. Uh, but if medicine, Supra, then they're going to be your boss. Yeah, yeah. but Supra doesn't need yeah. to have much to do with weed. Yeah. They can regulate medicinal cannabis, but that's mm. their baby. Yeah. Let yeah. us all grow it. Exactly. If we don't exactly. want to call it medicine, mm. then mm. I don't want to call it mm. medicine. Mine is just a herb. I think you guys are hitting the nail right on the head yet, yeah, because Red Red Stuba first are doing this thing, but maybe they're knocking on the wrong door. <laughs> because again, SAPRA is about health products and that. So again, if you're going to create health products, there are going to be health product standards, irrespective of it being cannabis. Yeah. Shouldn't they be knocking at Agri and social development yes. <laughs> DTI, and those yeah. guys? Because should be knocking at DTI. Because are they saying they want to grow weed or they want to grow medicine? Yeah. But it seems like Sapra is also dealing with everything right now because everyone seems to look that way. Mm. <coughs> and they really shouldn't be shouldering as much burden as they are. Mm. <laughs> Not everybody wants to grow medicine. Some people want to grow shirts and socks and biofuel and animal feed yeah. and that should not go anywhere near SAPRA. Medicine is a small tiny little mm -hmm. slice. I of think the pie. government is also at fault for not putting it out there and making it clear mm. what <laughs> the licenses are about and why they are there and uh, what they are for. You know they don't give any explanation. They've never said if you want to grow weed go to SAPRA and get a license. The government has never really given it their open approval. Yeah. It's all been shady and cloak and dagger smoke and mirrors all along. Yeah. We are sick of it. No we don't need that. I understand, before so, uh, they must be upset, you know? Of course they must be. Of course Nobody they can be. really legally grow, it's like commercial cultivation, that's what this is about, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, commercial cultivation shouldn't require a license, it should not. Mm. No, I agree. We all know that uh, T agencies are going to apply. Existing regulatory practices, uh, what's all the things, GMP, SOP, uh, GAP and all that. These things are going to apply yeah. across the various <laughs> industries. So yeah. it feels like a license is this inappropriate barrier to entry. What <laughs> TV licenses are a joke. Car licenses are almost a joke. Post yeah. is a joke. Po um, the post office is closed down, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe we can kind of lean on these existing industries to show the way a bit. But yeah, it does feel like they're barking at Sapper's door. But I feel a bit not sorry, but I just feel like Sapper might be a bit cornered. No, they should let go of it. It shouldn't be their responsibility. Mm. What other crop do you need a license for? Maybe wild garlic, because some gentlemen were also, or, oh, or yeah. human beings, they were arrested for harvesting wild garlic. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard that story. story. Mm. What is that, a new ethos strain? Yeah, I mean, who knows? Garlic breath. These garlic breath. <laughs> but human beings were arrested and jailed for harvesting wild garlic, which you can buy in any nursery. Dale, what did you think about this, dude? 
No, they do have a very good point, of course. Uh, I've spoken to like some people who have more of an opinion about it, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and people are f being un treated unfairly, you know? It's not even just the business aspect. It's like, those guys have a business and license, yes, and they're making millions, but that guy on the streets is still being arrested. You know what I mean? It's like, leave the, leave the guy alone, don't arrest him. At least, you, like, arresting somebody, but the other guy who's doing it 10 times higher, you're letting him go. That's just, at a human moral point, that, that isn't right. There shouldn't be any licenses you know? issued uh, while they're arresting no, people. No, that's so exactly, I was waiting for you license. to say those words. The arrests need to stop. Who has the right to license else? this plant? There's all this high-level discussion about compliance and all that, you know, but they still arrest people. Uh, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Sense. And who's going to want to really but the, get involved in But the in privileged industry. weed, I like to call it privileged like weed, yes. it gets to be grown, you know, in acres, fields of green. Like, all, like... You know, fields of green for some. For some, yes. Privileged. The riches are politically connected. Yes. Mm. Yeah. It's unfair. Because who's getting the tender? You're not even going to be able to grow for yourself. Who's yeah. getting the tender to give the tenders? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's one of those things. But I think these are, it sounds like the fast, so they know the name of the game, not yeah. just in this, but in agriculture. Mm. And that. But it would be amazing to see these guys get the opportunity to bring bank to the streets. Yeah. A they are upset because the government won't let all farmers grow cannabis because yeah. there's lots of farmers that want to grow and compete. Let them compete and after a few years we'll see who will stick to their guns and who's good at it. You know? mm. Give us a chance. Exactly. Yeah, it's like they're trying to build it from the top yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. They're regulating um, you know, the, 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 the growing instead of the end product and that's, that's what's wrong. So, yeah. No, even on the chat they're saying, Gerber the Gardener is saying, that's exactly what got me when I saw all these sites that are currently, uh, have licenses, and how can this be allowed by so many growers are still being arrested, for and even just for possession. It's ridiculous. Now that barrier for entry is super high, you know, you need to have like two years of agricultural experience and the tick boxes uh, just go on and on and on. Mm. But judging by the face... Facebook groups, there's one thing that everyone unanimous, unanimously agrees on arresting people over is fucking rogue males. <laughs> this season, Oaks are moaning about the pippage. So, are yeah. we ever going to get to a point where we do say, damn it, maybe we do need to license this because Oaks are just hoying <laughs> boys everywhere? Rogue males? What's that? Male plants. Oh, people that right are males. unsure, yeah, of what. Uh whether they've got males or females. Well, in America, they're already declaring certain sites and free sites. Yes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Guys can grow cannabis and, and, and. So, because there's guys who rely on making seed and there's guys who want to grow. It might be the only way forward. <laughs> but now even the guys in the cannabis game, they're going to have to battle each other because I'm growing flour and just across the hill, my neighbor's starting his seed bank or his new seed line or whatever. You know, so... How do we share this space? Is that going to drive people mm. indoors? Well, Hopefully that's not, not. The thing. So now the guy, mm. maybe there's a limitation on the guy making pollen, mm. and who wants to use pollen, he can grow it in a greenhouse where he can be sure that very little pollen comes out, you know, and at least not fuck up his neighbor's crop. Yeah. And just be nice. You know, 100% is a different story, but I mean... Mm -hmm. You can put a filter uh, on your extraction fans. That's something. Cool. You know, there is a middle ground in there.